Sagittarius, welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do your next three months reading. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, and you're safe. A couple things before we get started. Uh, there will be an extended reading link below. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. Uh, I'll go over what's in the extended uh, upcoming. And secondly, I just want to let you know I'm now on uh, TikTok and Instagram. If you'd like to follow me, I do post daily messages. And what else do I have for you? I think that's it here, Sagittarius. Let's get started with your reading. I will say it may not resonate with every Sagittarius out there. Roles can be reversed. Take it how it resonates with you. And let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. Let's see what's happening here for Sagittarius for the next three months. What's happening here for the next three months? All right. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. Give me just a moment so I can hone in on the energy and I will call out the signs. All right. So um, I got strong Cancerian energy. You have strong Capricorn. We have Taurus Virgo. We also have Pisces Scorpio and we also have Leo, your energy, Sagittarius and Aries. Okay. So in your first month here, um, Sagittarius, you do have the two of wands and you have the chariot. I feel like there's something here in the first month that you are planning. Okay. It could be in any area of your life. You may even be planning a home move. I'm also seeing planning some sort of travel. This also could be somebody here uh, coming towards you, somebody here traveling towards you. We're going to see when we clarify what details we can get about that. In your second month here, you do have the Devil card and you have the Three of Pentacles, okay? So I get here that um, there may be something that you are definitely thinking a lot about, something maybe you're attached to. This um, I feel like it could be overthinking a situation, a situation you're wanting to work out. This also can be an energy here. You know, I'm also hearing uh, like getting help here. Uh, with a situation, maybe a toxic situation, addiction, or something like that. It's going to be different for all of you. But um, I feel that part of this decision here has to do with um, this devil energy, okay? Something here that you're strongly attached to. This could be a person around you, I'm just going to say, as well, could be affecting your decision. We're going to clarify and we're going to see where that goes. Now, in the third month, you do have the King of Cups and you have the Hangman. And what I see here, Sagittarius, I feel a couple things. Um, I feel like you may be feeling like you've sacrificed emotionally about a situation, but I also get an energy here where you may have a change of heart about something. Okay, so we'll clarify. We'll see where that goes. Now, bottom of the deck here, you do have the Magician. And I feel what's happening here, Sagittarius, there is some sort of major decision that you're having to make, okay? It may be a very, um, a very weighted decision. And the Magician comes to tell you that there is some sort of new beginning. There is something new that is happening for you, and you have all the tools and resources to make that happen. It feels like you may have been holding back. Now, for some of you, this could, I'm hearing like this could be about securing your future, it could be a relationship, it could be a money situation, all right, uh, maybe a home move, okay, maybe moving at a distance, but let's clarify the cards and let's see where this is going, all right, Got a few shuffles here, I did some pre-shuffle already, now in the extended, I will look at um, for love, the person that you have on your mind what they're thinking, they're feeling, their upcoming actions, love messages, and guidance. All right, so let's see why is the two of wands and the chariot here, please? Why is the two of wands and the chariot here, please? 
You have the Ten of Pentacles. I'm also picking up, I'm hearing an energy of um, there may be someone or there may be uh, something here in your life that you're having a hard time breaking free of. Um, that may be a distraction, okay? that could That's your challenge there, I see. All right. So you have here the Ten of Pentacles, you have the High Priestess, and you have the King of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're really trying to listen to your intuition, or this is what you're being guided to do in the month of January. It definitely feels like there's some sort of decision, some sort of action here you're needing to take. And like I said, I feel it's surrounding a relationship here with that Ten of Pentacles, or like I said, a financial situation. For some of you, it could be travel here um, and or you know some sort of home move that I am seeing so I feel like the first month you're really going to be looking um, at your situation I feel like you're going to uh, make some sort of decision that's going to give you some sort of movement or traction here all right now you got strong Pisces and you also have strong Cancerian energy at the bottom of the deck here you do have the star card okay so I feel this decision here that you're trying to make is going to bring balance, okay, to for you, okay? It's to bring you in a place where you feel more stability, you feel more balanced. Could be dealing with an Aquarius here. Let's clarify now, why is the devil and the three of pentacles here, please? Why is the devil and the three of pentacles? Now, this is uh, your second month. I'm feeling in the second month, this could be a challenge for you, but let's see why is the devil and the three of pentacles here, please? Why is the devil and the three of pentacles here, please? All right, so you have the king of pentacles, you have the moon card, and you have the queen of pentacles. Okay, so I'm definitely picking up... Um, a relationship here okay and if it's not a relationship for you it can just be um, around something financial um, that you may have some fears about all right now bottom of the deck here you do have the tower card so I feel like there's something here unexpected like I said I do feel like there is some sort of challenge if this is a relationship here, I feel like you're going to be questioning your, your feelings about a situation. It does feel like there's something here that's going to happen that's unexpected. Now, like I said, it could be something unhealthy here. Um, let's see uh, what we have here. We have the tower and we have the hermit. Yeah, I feel like something's going to happen, Sagittarius. And I feel like you're really going to question... Um, you're going to really question your feelings about the situation. Now, for some of you, like I said, I feel like this could be a relationship here. Okay, now it can be somebody here, I feel, too. This could be somebody who is having a hard time letting go of you or vice versa. Right, and I feel like you're going to really be uh, questioning your feelings about this situation. Very interesting energy. Let's see what else you have here. You have the Five of Cups. Yeah, so there's some sort of disappointment around this, okay? There's some sort of disappointment around the situation here. So if you're in a relationship um, or there is somebody here you have a lot of deep feelings for, I feel like you're going to question it in the second month here. I do see two people working together, I'm going to say. I feel two people here um, that are very attached. Um, I do feel like uh, there is going to be two people coming together. Why? Now, let's see. Why is the King of Cups and the Hangman here, please? Why is the King of Cups and the Hangman here? You have the Eight of Cups. You have the Six of Cups. And you have the Ace of Wands. Oh, my gosh. All right, and you have the Nine of Cups. Okay, I feel here, Sagittarius, I, I've been picking this up. I don't know how long now, but I feel like there could be, um, there could be somebody in your life that you have a lot of feelings for and you may still feel attached, but it feels like an unhealthy attachment here. I feel a decision. If this is love for you, I'm just, I'm picking up two energies. All right, I'm picking up two energies here. <clears throat> 
and I feel there's a sense um, of a situation here that you're not feeling satisfied with, okay? You may be exploring your options. Um, some of you, like I said, I do pick up a home move, okay? So you may be trying to make some sort of decision around a home move. It may be at a distance, what I'm seeing here. And, um, but something, there may be some sort of challenge, okay, that I see may keep you stuck. And I'm just going to say, I don't know, I'm hearing like, you know, where you live or maybe it's where you grew up or whatever. I feel like you feel sentimental about it or something like that, okay? There's some sort of feeling or emotion, but you're, you're, you're feeling a bit stuck, I feel, here in the second month. Okay, I see planning in the first month. I see um, a challenge here of uh, being attached or tied to something, okay? And then um, you may be, you know, maybe a bit obsessing about it, but, you know, some of you, this is a relationship. You have the Six of Cups and you have the Ace of Wands. Why? I feel what's happening here, um, like I said, I feel like it feels like an energy, maybe there is somebody here you've given a lot to, you've sacrificed a lot, and um, but there's a, something here where you're just not feeling emotionally good about it, and I see you moving on from that situation, and I feel when you do, I feel like there's another opportunity here, there's another chance. Now, for some of you, this may have to do with just finding a place to live where you will feel happy. Okay, this could be a work situation, a job situation. Um, but what I'm going to show you here too, whatever the situation is for you, Sagittarius, you have the Magician and the Nine of Cups. And look at that. You have the Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh. And you have the Ace of Cups. There is some sort of offer that is upcoming here that you don't see. All right. There's, a, there's either a love offer, a home offer, or just you taking some sort of action here that's going to bring a lot of happiness here to you, okay, for the long term is what I'm getting, okay? But you are the magician, and I've seen this in your readings for quite some time. There's some sort of decision or action that you are needing to take in your, your situation. So I'm going to pull a few more cards, see if we can get some more details. Some of you, I feel this has to do with a home move. Some of you, this is a relationship. Alive. And I'm going to say for some of you, this is a career move as well. So let's uh, pull some more messages here for you, Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius? What else does Sagittarius need to know? Okay, so you have the Nine of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, here, the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my God, what all this fell out here. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, Sagittarius, didn't I say it here? Look at that, the lovers. Some of you have a choice between two. Uh, could be dealing with a Gemini. You have here, the, oh my gosh, the Three of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Okay, if this is love for you, I'm just going to say there's options. You got the Queen of Pentacles. You got the Nine of Pentacles. It's not about male or female. It's about the energy. You got the Three of Wands. I see you exploring your options here, looking towards the future, okay? I see a shift here. I see you trying to make some sort of decision. You may feel emotionally, like I said, you may feel emotionally you've sacrificed, um, you know, and it may be a relationship that could have been unhealthy or toxic, but I see more than one person here in your situation, Sagittarius, and I feel like you're going to have to make some sort of decision here of what direction you're, you are going in, okay? Now, if you don't have anybody, okay, within the next few months, there is going to be people showing up here unless you're not putting yourself out there, okay? So if you stay home all the time and you don't do anything, all right, that doesn't necessarily mean people are going to come into your life, okay? There's some sort of action here you're needing to take. Maybe you're needing to put yourself out there to date, right, or meet people. But I see um, a lot of opportunities coming your way. I feel like I'm almost hearing like the world is your oyster here because I feel that the universe is trying to put you in the right direction, okay? 
because I've seen your energy for quite some time, Sagittarius, that you've been stuck or caught up in your head. And I'm very surprised here. I haven't gotten any, actually, I haven't gotten any swords energy here for you. Okay, I don't think I see one sword energy here, which usually in your readings, um, Sagittarius, the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords comes up, uh, I remember, in the past a lot, okay? So let's see what you have here. Okay, the Lovers, the Queen of Wands, the Justice. Okay, so it feels like there's a situation here where you're trying to find some sort of balance. Definitely another card here of taking some sort of action. It feels like a decision whether this is in love or this is another situation for you, okay? I'm going to say here some of you may, um, you know, this could, you may be going through a legal separation or a divorce. I pick up that energy as well. So um, Sagittarius, I'm going to take it to the extended. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.